What is a Peaker Power Plant? In this short video, presented by Clean Energy Group, we are going to discuss Peaker Power Plants and the risks they pose to vulnerable communities. Before we can understand what a Peaker Power Plant is, we first need to understand a little bit about the grid. Also called the power grid or the electrical grid, this is the way that electricity gets to us, whether it comes to our homes, schools, or businesses. The electricity we use is often generated at fossil fueled power plants, but a growing number of clean energy sources such as solar panels and wind turbines are producing low cost, reliable electricity. After it is generated, the electricity grid moves the power via transmission lines to transformers and power stations that prepare the electricity to be used by utility customers. Peaker power plants, sometimes called peak plants or peakers, provide power to the grid during times when there is an additional need for power that regular electricity providers are not able to supply. They are used to cover the peaking demand spikes for electricity, and they can be among the most polluting power plants. Most peaker plants are run infrequently, usually less than 300 hours per year, and only for a few hours at a time when called upon, but they produce the most expensive power. Peakers are called on for power if regular electricity generators go offline or when there's high demand for energy, such as on hot days when air conditioners are running full blast. The number of excessively hot days will be increasing due to climate change. In many cases, peaker power plants that use fossil fuels, such as natural gas or oil, to generate electricity, are located near low-income communities and communities of color. These facilities release toxic air pollution that can cause asthma, cardiovascular disease, and other serious health conditions. Many peaker plants are located close to the communities they serve, so when they're running, even for a short time, they can have a very bad impact on air quality for surrounding neighborhoods. Peaker plants have been around since the 1950s, and they're located across the country. There are more than 1,000 peaker plants in the U.S. There are 10 metropolitan regions that together have nearly 200 peaker plants. These regions have issues with toxic pollution affecting the health of their communities. For example, in New York City, the Gowanus peaker plant ran for only 50 hours in 2018, but it produced 19,519 tons of CO2. People living, working, and going to school near peaker plants are hurt the most. Peaker plants release harmful pollutants, including nitrogen oxides, gases that when inhaled can lead to asthma, diabetes, and adverse birth outcomes. Peakers also release fine particulate matter, called PM2.5, shown here in relation to the width of human hair. These are very tiny liquid and solid particles that can enter the lungs and create serious health problems such as asthma and cardiovascular disease. If you're a utility customer, essentially if you use electricity, then you're likely paying for these peaker plants. In New York City, up to 5% of customers' electric bills go to peaker plants. These payments are called capacity payments. So, how much money are we talking about? Owners of peaker plants in New York City earned over $4.5 billion in the decade between 2010 and 2019, just to keep these peakers on standby in case they're needed. On average, peaker plants in New York City run less than 500 hours per year, and some plants run fewer than 100 hours per year. Ultimately, everyone is hurt by fossil fueled peaker plants because of the greenhouse gases they release. These gases contribute to climate change and warming temperatures, causing severe storms, melting glaciers, sea level rise, and ocean acidification. So what is the solution to dirty peaker power plants? It's renewable energy plus battery storage. Electricity produced by solar and wind energy systems can be stored in a battery until that power is needed, such as at times of peak demand. When communities make their own decisions about how they get their electricity, they can choose clean, reliable energy sources, and billions of dollars can be invested in the community-owned assets that build wealth for community members rather than for power plant owners. Batteries and renewables can deliver clean peak energy generation, and they can be installed in locations throughout a community, providing opportunities for increased energy resilience, decreased energy burdens, and community wealth creation benefiting communities instead of causing them harm. Battery storage technology is available, cost-effective, reliable, resilient, and clean. 
it lowers pollution and reduces electricity costs. In many cities, using renewables and batteries to replace fossil fuel peaker plants is becoming a reality. Clean Energy Group's Phase Out Peakers Initiative is a collaborative effort to support local community and environmental justice groups across the country in their battles to phase out fossil fuel peaker power plants and replace them with clean renewables and battery storage technology. Replacing peaker plants in disadvantaged communities represents one of the most important environmental justice opportunities in the country. Visit the Phase Out Peakers Project webpage at the web address on your screen to find reports, webinars, and other informational resources about replacing peaker power plants with clean energy and storage. This video was brought to you by Clean Energy Group, a national nonprofit advocacy organization working on innovative policy, technology, and finance strategies in the areas of clean energy and climate change. Visit cleanegroup.org for videos and other resources on replacing dirty peaker plants, clean energy, how batteries work, and how your community can afford to transition to clean and resilient power.